This video is going to shock you. I'm going to change the way you eat pasta. In this video, I am telling you, recommending you the right pasta brands to eat, like an Italian. And I am sorry if you are buying the brands that I don't suggest, that I don't like. I hope you will say to me, let's try this Vincenzo suggestion. Maybe you pay the same, maybe you pay a little bit more, but hey, it makes a difference. Watch this video until the end because you will become a pasta connoisseur. The first thing you need to know, how is the dry pasta made? The pasta that you buy from the shop, the dry one, it's made with semolina and water, nothing else. No oil, no salt, nothing. So it is made in a way that you combine the ingredients you shape the pasta and then the pasta needs to dry, okay? This is the dry pasta from the shop. How do you dry the pasta? Okay, so to dry the pasta in the factory, they go inside a machine basically that uh, dries the pasta and you choose the temperature. The temperature can be low, which means it takes longer, or the temperature can be high, which means it takes less to dry. Of course, when there are brands out there who use cheap semolina and then they dry at a very high temperature for a short time, you are killing the pasta. No benefits, no proteins, no fiber, nothing. But if you're using top quality semolina, good water of course, which the water is a very important ingredient, and then you dry at a low temperature for a longer time, which you're talking about starting from 18 hours, getting all the way to 36 hours. The more you dry, the slower you do it, the better your pasta is gonna be, okay? So, cheap brands out there, they dry the pasta at very high temperature, very fast. Talking about hours of drying process. And that's why the pasta becomes orange. So now that you know a little bit of how pasta is made, and I will do another video to show you how the pasta is made in Italy, what brands do I recommend you? It's very difficult to recommend brands out there because it depends where you live. Uh, you might not be able to find all the pastas that I'm recommending to you, uh, but you can always buy it online, okay? If not, you can go to your trusted shop. You should be able to find it. Now, before I recommend you what brands to buy, keep in mind that what I'm doing with this video, I'm helping you to buy a cheap, good quality pasta. So if you're spending $1.50 for a cheap pasta that is not good, I'm going to make you spend maybe $2, maybe 50 cents or $1 extra, but it's going to make a huge difference, okay? A huge difference. So you're, gonna, you're not going to go broke. You're going to be spending the same amount of money, feed the whole family with $2, but it makes a huge difference. So I hope this helps and I hope you appreciate this video. Let me start by a brand that I don't actually eat, but it is okay to eat. It's called Barilla. Barilla, okay? Everyone is eating Barilla. Even my nonna, me, you, everyone eating Barilla, okay? Is Barilla a good brand? Barilla is a good brand because it can be found anywhere. In the most remote area, city, town, in your country, you can find Barilla. It's a global brand that brings Italy into your plate. Is it the best one? No. Is it good? I'm about to tell you, don't, don't be offended because I'm pretty sure you have Barilla in your cupboards. Barilla is not, my, it's not quality. Barilla is dried at high temperatures and the, the products of the ingredients, in my opinion, they are not the best. But if I have to choose between Barilla and a cheap brand, like in Australia we have brands like Sanremo, Sanremo, Zaffarelli, Balducci, brands made in Australia, the pasta is orange, almost brown, and it's not a uh, whole meal, it's brown because they dry at a very high temperatures and they cost as much as Barilla. Then I say, I'm sorry, I'm all about supporting the locals, but these brands do not deserve to be supported, in my opinion, okay? Okay, my opinion you can do whatever you want but in that case you want to buy barilla if you're looking for something cheap okay but then if you want to eat pasta and you don't eat pasta every day you eat pasta every now and then maybe once a week okay why don't you go for a better brand you can pay a little bit more than two dollars you can get a brand like la molisana molisana is a top brand that you can buy here in australia between two dollar fifty and two dollar ninety nine in america it will be a lot cheaper it's a great brand for a commercial pasta and i really recommend you to have that Another brand you should try is called Di Martino, really good. They did a collaboration with Dolce & Gabbana, so yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's a really good pasta. De Checco, it's another good brand. It's a lot 
better than Barilla, a little bit less maybe than Molisana, and it's around about the same price. So if you ever see at the shop La Molisana $2.50, the Checo $2.50, go for La Molisana. But the Checo is also pretty good. Rummo, Rummo is a pasta that everybody likes and everybody eats. Rummo is a really good brand. It's at the same level as the Checo, probably the same price, it's around there. But again, I will say go for La Molisana. But if you have to choose and only have Rummo or Barilla, go for Rummo. Garofalo is another brand that you find. Sometimes it's the same price as Barilla. And I will say to you, just go for Bar Garofalo. It's not a pasta I eat because I like to eat artisan pastas, but it is a good brand for you who don't want to spend too much money and want to enjoy a plate of pasta. You pay a little one dollar extra, but it makes a difference. Now it's time for me to give you my score to the commercial pasta brands. Divella. Oh my God, it used to be such a great pasta in the 80s, in the 90s, but now it really dropped. I don't know what happened, and I give Divella pasta a three. Barilla. Barilla is a pasta that can be found everywhere on the, in the world, very easy to find in any remote areas. Is it good? I give it a five. The Checo pasta, pasta from my region, I used to be amazing in the last couple of years. It's too good, but it's not amazing like it used to be. So I give it a six and a half. Molisana. La Molisana is from a region of Molise, a region that produces quality. Molisana pasta deserves a seven and a half. Really good commercial brand. Granoro. Granoro is a brand from Puglia, uh, made with okay ingredients, but it's, it's mass produced. So unfortunately, it, it, it deserves a six. But you can also find a specialty Granoro range, which is really, really good, okay? So when you look at Granoro, there is a cheaper version and a specialty version. Rummo, Rummo, I give it a seven. I give it a seven because it's a really good pasta that I like to have in my cupboard. Di Martino, Di Martino is a really good brand pasta and I give it a seven and a half. Nothing wrong about this brand. Del Verde. Del Verde is a pasta brand. Unfortunately, it's not easy to find. It's from my region, top semolina, top water. I'll give it a seven and a half or even eight. It's a brand I wish I can see more often. Unfortunately, it's not easy to find. But go to your shop and ask to get Del Verde. It comes in a, in a green, dark green packet and it's really good. Last but not least, La pasta called Liguori come from the Gragnano region, the pasta kingdom near Naples, and it's really good. I give it a seven. Also keep in mind that some supermarkets or shops, they might have a private label, okay? They might have their own label, and that's good, that's okay. We always wanna read the ingredients and what is made. Here in Australia, we have a brand called Cucina Matese. This pasta brand called Cucina Matese, it's imported directly from Coles. Coles is an Australian supermarket and I think they have an agreement with them. Okay, it's a pasta that's not easy to find. You can only find at Coles. And it, because it's not a famous brand, it doesn't mean it's not good. It's made in Italy, in the region of Molise, which is a very good region where you can buy quality ingredients. And the pasta, it's a cheap pasta, $2, $2.50 sometimes on sale for $1.50 and it's a really, really good pasta. So, see, that doesn't mean that because a brand is not known, it's not good, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna try and help you, okay, with advice. Now, what's the difference between the cheap pastas, the $1 pasta, and the $1 more expensive pasta, the average pasta I just mentioned? If you buy this pasta that we have in Australia, like Zaffarelli or San Remo or Balducci, these type of pastas, okay, what they do is they use very poor quality, in my opinion, ingredients, very poor quality ingredients, dry up massive temperatures. People that created this brand, they all they want to do is making money. They're not proud. They're not artisans like these people in Italy who have been making pastas for a long time. Yes, there are brands in Italy like Divella, who I mentioned, who have lost the passion for the brand, in my opinion, okay? And the pasta is orange. So when you see a, a cheap pasta and the color is orange, it's not a kind of light yellow, almost white. It means the pasta has been dried for too fast high temperatures. When you buy a dry pasta, you wanna see a nice light color. Okay, a light yellow. If you buy egg fresh pasta, it needs to be nice and dark because you're using eggs. Here you're not using eggs, you're using water and semolina. So you want the semolina to be looked after, to be dry naturally, and the pasta to be nice and light. What's the average between average quality pasta, good pastas, like the one I mentioned, and the artisan pastas, which I haven't mentioned. Artisan pastas are basically made with top, top of the range semolina, 
okay sometimes these brands grow their own semolina and this is how strict these brands are and are passionate what these artists and brands do they dry low heat for a long time 30 36 hours maybe even more and that really makes the difference why do you need that because the pasta has a nice texture it absorbs the pasta better if you buy the cheap brand it does not absorb your pasta your pasta will slip it's not gonna stay but if you buy a better quality pasta brand your sauce will stick on the pasta it will make love with the pasta and you can enjoy more your flavors and at the same time you get more fiber more protein in your pasta the pasta is alive the pasta is happy to go in your belly another reason why artisan pasta is more expensive maybe it's three times the price of a good quality pasta is because the production is a lot less so they produce less they produce in quality for you for me who i love supporting these brands i love it and if you come to my cupboard my kitchen is full of top quality pastas what are my top 10 pasta brands that i really love mancini a beautiful pasta from the regional market amazing outstanding product rusticella d'abruzzo rusticella come from my region of abruzzo i absolutely love this brand and it's very easy to find everywhere pasta cocco oh i think cocco is the top of the range for me cocco is a brand that i really wish you can easily find which is not easy masciarelli is a small pasta factory from abruzzo family is still involved if you can find masciarelli pasta please try it Ferrigni pasta is a really good pasta. They use beautiful fancy machines and extruders to make the pastas and it's really, really good. Afeltra is a really good brand that you guys must try. All these brands are amazing to try. Benedetto Cavalieri. Oh, wow. What a beautiful artisan pasta this is. Martelli pasta. It's a beautiful fancy packet. You can't miss this one. I believe if you have to choose between all these pastas, you will go for Martelli because the branding is beautiful. Monograno Felicetti. It's a really top quality pasta. Lots of chefs love using it and you should try it. Which one is my top three? Cocco, Rusticella and Mancini. These three are my top three favorite artisan pastas. So the question now is how do you choose the right pasta? So you choose the right pasta by going in the shop and you put together the brands and you say okay this one is lighter, this one is more orange, I'm gonna go for the lighter one. This is a technique I recommend you to use and I'm talking about Italian pastas. Do not buy pastas that come from, from other countries that they, 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 you're not supporting the artisan, okay? I, I support the locals, don't get me wrong, I like to support the locals, but we're talking about pastas, brands that have been making pasta for hundreds of years and they have the right recipe. They know what they're doing. So when you get the Italian pastas, put them next to each other. And if you get Divella and you get at the Checo, you see a big difference. So look at the colors, look at the orange, look at the white, and then you pick for the lighter version of dry pasta. And trust me, it makes a difference. 